Fresh's Cargo is a project led by young people, inspired by Yorkshire's world collection. It is part of the London 2012 Cultural Olympiad programme, Stories of the World. We are asking how objects, ideas and customs have found their way across the world and become precious items of Yorkshire heritage. What are the things that are precious for Yorkshire people and what stories do they tell? All the designs for the different pears and leaves have been done by people from all over Britain. So from London, Yorkshire, even up north as far as Edinburgh, Glasgow, and it, it's all been sewn together and it's just turned out fabulous. The young people kind of decided how the whole project planned out and formed. We decided what kind of art we wanted. We wanted something new, fresh, uplifting. In every case where the Moorcroft pottery is, there's at least one or two pieces of work which we've had a hand in designing or actually creating. It makes me feel really proud. I got the opportunity to travel around Yorkshire and go into different museums and actually get a real taste of culture. It has definitely been a positive experience just for the uh, vast access to knowledge that we have. It's certainly over the past couple of years really broadened my understanding of the whole of Bradford's sort of textile heritage. Normally if somebody says Bradford textile heritage it's just like <sighs> but we've just been talking to the right people and really getting stuck in so yeah. extremely positive. I know how to weave <laughs> which is a brand new skill. We've been using some hand looms and I've even had the opportunity to use this magnificent bit of uh, weaving technology. So yeah, I've learned some good new skills. It's really eye-opening to see what was done in the past and I'm glad that we've got places like this still trying to maintain and keep those skills that we're losing. But now we're part of the museum so it gives us a chance to, if not touch, but like we've done with the handlooms, you, you get to work, you know, work on whatever you've done. I'd like to see it really build up some more momentum and get it, start running on its own momentum rather than the sort of Olympic push. I'd want to see after the Olympics it just running anywhere. We've been planning out a gallery, so we need to like decide what themes and everything to do in the gallery. Um, to do this we've been doing loads of storytelling things and just basically looking at items that we might put in the gallery to redesign it. I like looking at all the different things that might go in the gallery. You can pick them up and actually have a look at them and um, learn about new things. Many Roman burial remains have been found in York. These are often discovered when building work has been carried out. You can especially expect to find these in the area around the train station as this is where most people were buried in Ibarakum. We both want to go into the media industry mm. as do like, most of the other people that um, have been on the project. And so obviously filmmaking, presenting, um, all those sort of aspects will hopefully um, help us in our future career. We went and filmed stuff on the ground. I got into a tomb with a skeleton, which was pretty weird, and stuff we never, never thought I'd do, I did on this project. I've always liked museums and stuff, but you know, I wouldn't have looked like through all this museum as thoroughly ever done if I hadn't done this project. So yeah, I've learned quite a lot from it. Me too. I've always loved museums, but I think I haven't been to one for a long time, and this is kind of made me want to kind of go back and find out more things. Despite his cruel nature, he still goes down in history of a man that was respected for his near two decades of being emperor. The man with the name of Septimius Severus. I never knew there was a black emperor, to be honest. That may sound horrible, but I never knew. And it's fun to find out, find out these facts and that um, all these stuff actually exist. Libyan love. 
lived happily in York. He ruled drawing enlightenment on British faces. He's such an iconic person to Britain, even though he came from Libya. And he kind of changed like the way people thought. And that's quite significant and I feel quite inspired by that. Severus's plan was to take his sons on an expedition to the rough, cold, barbaric land. Very enjoyable, I found it. Yeah, very, it's been, very, it's been a great group of people to work with. Hasn't it? Yeah, it was a really solid company, mm. but it was quite different from anything we did before. Yeah, it's it? the yeah. first performance I've done in quite a few years, and um, yeah, it's been lovely. And we've devised this piece together. Um, obviously, Julie and the director kind of was the main influence, but it was nice to actually be able to give a bit of your own inspiration mm. to the piece. My designs. Uh, named Woman Becomes Bird and the whole idea behind it was um, looking into um, sort of mythology of the Roman times, so gods and goddesses and the, mainly their connection with animals. It's been uh, really exciting, it's something that I'd, I'd, I would have never really thought that um, most of the group would have gotten into but we, it was something really different that we've never really experienced before and doing something in co collaboration with the museum was really fun and actually finding things out about history and about our surroundings. Between now and 2012, young people will continue to work with Yorkshire Museums to reveal world collections in inspiring new ways, resulting in our exhibitions and events being seen by over one million people. I would urge other young people to get involved. It's so much that you can learn. It really is life-changing.